You know how to dance? Okay. You know how to dance? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Good, yes. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Look, I got 30 people outside. Yo, just watch my mother. I was give. I was Yo, 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 relax. Right. Yo, yo, it's a video. Yo, it's a video. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Tell her. Yo, tell her. Back up. Oh. Yo, yo, what are you? <laughs> Somehow a guy doing this doesn't understand why a working man that likely grew up in a third world country isn't scared of him. Because when he doesn't outnumber someone half his size with his back turned, his demeanor is entirely different, as apparently he's now in police custody. And if you think you can recognize him, it's because he has a history of doing dumb things online for internet fame. As he was the guy trying to steal people's luggage, but would get super sensitive when it didn't make him look cool. Like, I'm really on that. You don't know who I am? Google job. Now looking at the Daily Voice, which I have zero affiliation with, it appears he's been arrested for the incident in Jersey where he took a worker's hat while wielding a scalpel, as the detectives were able to identify him by the YouTube video they posted with over 400,000 views before they took it down. He's now being charged with simple assault, terror threats, and possession, which Google suggests he may be looking at 40 to 100 years in prison, which I sadly doubt he'll get. But considering he was also wanted in the New York airport incident where he was trying to steal luggage by pulling out a knife and saying he was going to put it into their face. So originally I thought, finally, NYPD gets a win by catching someone ruining their society. Maybe then they'll finally get some respect in the streets. But no, it appears this guy was caught by the US Marshals Fugitive Task Force, which this is a lot to unpack here. But first we have to address the growing trend of people committing crimes, but labeling them as pranks on social media and thinking it's a viable defense in court. Now, although idiotic, I think I know what's happening and I'll just label this as hood hookers for now. Because if you have a lady of the evening engaging with men, but for money, not allowed straight to jail. But if that same lady engages with men, but uploads the video to the internet for money, she's now an e-girl entrepreneur. So when idiots get together saying, let's go to the airport with the blade and steal some luggage, maybe they thought, hey, this girl I know 10 extra money. It's time for us to take the hood to the World Wide Web. Now, obviously to me and you, that's the dumbest idea that will immediately backfire. But I just can't imagine why there's such a large group of people on the internet that insist on snitching on themselves through social media. Because it can't just be for clout. You don't know who I am? Googling. And not knowing the guy, I tried to Google search red hoodie man bun rapper guy and an out of stock Barbie doll comes up first. So with all those internet stunts, exorbitant amounts of cash blown on recording music videos and face tattoos, but you're still getting outranked by discontinued action figures of frat boys circa 2015 life is probably not going as planned. But maybe he just never anticipated the US Marshals would pick up NYPD slack. But it is the least of his worries, and it appears now Batman is fed up with his nonsense. You think he gangster, but he ain't no gangster. No, he's not. I know a gangster when I see one. Right. So if you appreciate my concise, lighthearted commentary on what's really going on in the world, hopefully I've earned your subscription and maybe even a like on the video, but then go check out the other video on how thugging for online clout backfires when you encounter someone with LCE or what I like to call large caliber energy.